Well, a great big good morning again from beautiful Queensland in Australia. Uh, the temperatures actually dropped this morning, which is really nice, and the overnight temperatures are dropping. And what that means for me, finally, is the intense heat uh, seems to be slowly leaving us, which is uh, wonderful as far as gardening is concerned. However, this little plant down here that I've realised uh, is not going to have a problem with the heat. I posted a video yesterday about this very plant. Now, I bought it uh, cheaply from a nursery. It looked like it was almost dead. It's called a hospital plant to me. I bring them home, see if I can revive them. And I've really had a lot of success with plants. Often in nurseries, they might not get watered enough or they might be left out in the heat. Uh, they mightn't have been in a good quality, you know, when they first got them. So I always hunt around nurseries just to see if there's anything there that I can revive. So it comes home to my hospital and this was one of them. After a bit of Googling, I decided that this actually was a Rebecca. However, overnight, one of my um, subscribers uh, on my channel, Christopher, and thanks Christopher, let me know that this isn't actually a Rebecca that I thought it was. There you go. No idea. Just Googled. Well, you know. So sometimes we see things that aren't really there. We all know that. He pointed out to me that this is actually called a Gilardia. Gilardia. And, you know, I had a little Google myself of it. And, yeah, of course he's right. And I, I, I didn't want to um, say that he wasn't. I just wanted some information about this. So, Christopher, thank you again. Christopher's actually got these growing in his garden. Another more common name or a well-known name is a blanket flower. And I think because if you plant a whole lot of them together and you looked at it, it would look like some beautiful big blanket. So that's my intention. I'm, I'm actually going to do that. When I did look uh, some information up, the one thing it said that I'm absolutely in love with is the fact that it loves my climate. We've had 38 degrees and up to 42, and this thing has survived through that. So I'm going to be putting some more of these in my garden, Galadia. Just a footnote on the bottom of this video, according to Christopher, he said it was very easy to strike one. He just went in underneath the plant and pulled off a piece that had a root system on it, off the mother plant. It had roots, he put it into the ground, and now in 12 months, it's the same size as the mother plant was. So it looks like it's gonna be terribly easy uh, to get more from. I'm going to try the seed method as well. I'm gonna come down here, take the seeds off the top like this, and do what I do with these kind of plants. Just throw the seeds down and see what happens next year. So this is now my favourite plant. I smile when I walk past. It's just gorgeous. I hope you're having as fun a day in your garden as I am in mine.